Private estate sale Monday with Miss Martha. Let's start it off right. Okay, my client is here. There is the 200 I've owed you for two weeks. It's actually 175, but right. we'll just add credit to my purchase today. Right. Oh boy. Okay, so the client's here. My client is here. Right. Okay. I understand. What oh, these are little junior clothes, little Nike Junior. Hmm. Maybe. Are there any big boy golf clubs around? Not much. Let's go take a look at this printer. And guess what, guys? I complain all the time. I never get a video game system from her. I know ahead of time there's one here. It's only a Wii though. Is there anything off limits that we know of? Okay, I'll just, I'll ask as I go. Mm -hmm. That's Callaway. That's an interesting. Vinny Testaverde. Cool. I gotta call you back, all right? All right, that's it. I'm going to take a shot on these two items here. Okay. Ooh, I can't even buy that. It's illegal. <laughs> this could be worth a million dollars and I couldn't purchase this thing. <laughs> I got hiding under here. I take those two things. What else we got? What's this? That's silverware. Silverware? In the box.
was that to say? I can't make that out. Is that William Rogers? Is that what it says? Yeah. North one, Korea. Stainless Korea. The Onita is interesting. Onita usually works out pretty well. I'm not familiar with that. I mean, this is like a hodgepodge. This isn't a set. Yeah, but you got a mixture of. Just a mix and match. Don't see anything on this one. It's all sterling. Well, it's all stainless, I mean. Yeah. yeah. What kind of bag is that? Yeah. Okay. I'm familiar with that name. What we got here? Santana. Is that really copier paper in that box, or you're not sure? No, I haven't had a chance to go through that. Ah. None of that's for sale. Uh, none of the tools? No, no. Okay. All right. I gotcha. No tools for sale. It's going to take that Dremel. No, that's all magazines. Yeah. No much magazines. Could be worth a hundred, could be worth five bucks. I know nothing about pocket bucks, thank mm. God. <laughs> Ooh, what are these? These all sports illustrated? Yeah. Billy Jean King. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Naya Coming Each. Right? Yep, yeah. Naya Coming Each. Fastest woman in the world. Hmm. I wonder if these have any. I wonder if those have any value. Hmm. I'm not sure. The frame, frame is probably worth more than what's in it. The frame? Yeah. yeah. Tough call. What about this stuff over here? The soft limits? That's all personal stuff. That's all. There's, there's the clubs we wanted. Yeah. No, she, she said uh, all those personal stuff is back here. I understand it personally. I just want to see what kind of clubs they are. Ah, finally, the good stuff. I'll check with Martha to make sure they're not for sale. Yeah, you don't think it's there if she said the dresser. Okay, none of this is for sale? No. What about this? No, that's not for sale. Not for sale, okay. I think I'm kind of sure she got the table. What about this? Not for sale? That's for sale. What the heck is that thing? It's a cooler. Floating uh, cooler for your pool. For your pool? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. The floating cooler. Mm -hmm. 
What about this stuff? Hmm. I don't do pictures often. Figures the one time she has really good clubs. Yeah. And they're not for sale. Something, right? Wait for a can of beer. Yeah. All right, let me see what she has inside. Go from there. She was a good golfer, obviously. Good golfer. All right, let me see. Hello, Judy. Hey, Mike. How are you? Oh, hanging in there. Good. Not assigned. We need something for the middle of the table to come across something. How about like something like that? Yeah. Yeah, that Let's Martha, these uh, hats are good? No. No? No. Okay. Look at me, Mike. She's a professional golfer. I understand so that. So, don't. Okay. This yeah. is her. No, no. That's fine. And the, the clubs are off limits there, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's definitely. So, she was a professional golfer.
that. Hello everybody, we're back from that estate sale and wound up spending $200 there. Um, and the owner was actually there, or the client I guess you would say, um, but this was a professional golfer's women's golf house and it had a lot of golf memorabilia. Some things I, I showed in a video I didn't think was worth actually buying, I didn't, I wasn't sure kind of questionable um, but for two hundred dollars here's what we got all right in the video you saw me looking at this football I decided to pick it up now I'm looking at it closer and it looks like it's like a auto print I don't think like some of these look real like that but these all I don't know if they're like I don't think this is live ink but I'm not 100% sure but what I'm going to do is try and find, it's like Vinny, Vinny Testaverde, that looks like real link, but I'm not 100% sure. Nothing's faded, so it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Um, I'm going to look this up, the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers 1992 team ball signed and see if it's a uh, ball that was made in the masses or what. And I'll put some air in it and then probably stick it up for auction and see what happens on auction. So this is part of that sale. Okay, we got this DVD VCR player. Figure 35 40 bucks for that. Okay, the books I was looking at in the video. Um, I wound up with this book here that I actually scrolled through and it had a 1940 publishing date on it. So I figured it was worth a shot. Well, it wasn't worth a shot, but uh, right there, 1944. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'll put all three books since they're the same uh, genre, same maker, same everything. The books is pretty much the same. I figure they're going for like eight bucks, seven, eight dollars. So I'll put them up for auction. Start at nine ninety nine and see if we can't sell them. Okay, then I picked up this sealed CD. Um, at least I thought it was sealed. Now I'm looking at it. It might not be. No, it's sealed. Yeah, that's sealed. I've been doing very well with CDs on uh, Walmart and eBay. As a matter of fact, I sold a, a CD today on eBay for thirty-one dollars. So um, I don't know about this guy how much he's going to go for. If it's nine bucks, it's nine bucks. Um, some sealed uh, DVDs. I got five of them. Nothing outrageous. Ocean's Twelve, Murdered by the Numbers, The Women, Dream Girl, and Four Christmases. This stuff here. Again, I've been selling on Walmart anywhere from $9.99 and up. So if every one of them goes for $9.99, there's like $40 bucks worth of stuff there. And figure $35 after, well, figure $30 after fees and shipping. So, got that. Then we picked up this little camera. Now, I know some of these can go for $60, $70. I don't know if I grabbed the right one this time or not. Um, if it works, this Vivitar DVR 648 HD, 
if it's twenty thirty dollars that's fine we'll sell it if it's working get rid of it that way um, this all adds up obviously it was it was tough because if you watch the video well obviously you watch the video if you hear me talking now um, that was like the best set of golf clubs I've run across in a while at an estate sale I mean those are all tailor-made and they were not for sale but but I tell you I'm conniving I'm a steely Dan I'm a I'm a jack of all trades I'm a mix and matcher right well guess what I was able to convince them to sell me some now let's take a look at some of these I just sold this same exact club okay the fat lady all right so this I just sold for $34.99 so I see no reason why I would not get $34.99 again out of it so has a good grip on it um, Bobby Grace a grip on it real nice like I said she was a professional player so um, and she was the one handing me the clubs if you can believe it or not um, I know it was an estate sale but I don't know if it's a true estate sale so then she said to me I give you this one too okay this is an XR Callaway all right the reason she gave it to me she broke the shaft she broke it so what I'll do is I'm gonna take a pipe cutter and I'll cut it right about here to leave them enough room to pull this off I'll sell the club head only um, I don't know I'm thinking 30 bucks probably for that club head um, but we'll see. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I wouldn't be surprised to get 30 bucks out of it So we got that one Then we got She just kept on bringing them out so I kept on taking them this Callaway great big Bertha. It's a three wood um, In fairly good shape uh, Did not break this one. So I have the full setup Nice grip on it ready to rock and roll um, this should be a flex a um, oh, this is a Mitsubishi uh, shaft. So anyway, with the Callaway, I figure thirty-five bucks, let's say. And then she came and grabbed another one and passed it to me. So this is a Callaway XR four wood. Okay, again, same shaft, and I'm thinking thirty-five bucks for this one. All right. Now, I thought from a distance I was going to get me a Scotty Cameron. A Scotty Cameron. I didn't. I got me an Adele. Now, you can look these up online. This is an Adele E2. Okay. Torque 8. Right? MW. All right. You can look that up online. This is a $200 putter. $200 putter very good shape it's got the original grip on it and the grip feels good so all is well there it's a short club though this is only going to measure wow this might not even be is this 30 inches let's see this is it is 32 and a half inches long so here is my entire buy back at me this one club now they're all over the place some are going for 159 but we'll see how that works out then in the garage as i was scrolling through some pictures i found these and i don't know if they're going to sell for what i'm going to list them for but i'm going to sell them high now this is a nice little man cave item anybody that's a golfer throw their little family picture up there or whatever them playing golf figure i get 10 bucks out of that probably these are the ones i took a chance on no idea bob commander if i can get the sunlight out of there there we go um little golf ball coming in for a landing on the green and that's why they call them greeny all right so i am going to list these 
If I can't find comps in the back of my head right now, this is going up for $49.99 and $14 shipping. But if I find comps and they're $15, they make it donated. So <laughs> that, that varies a lot. That has a lot of stipulations. And then we got drop him. Got his pants down. Get the ball. Be the ball. The hat says be the ball. Okay. Then we got birdie. Birdie. And I don't know if Bob Commander is the guy who did these or what the deal is there. Okay, hold on one second. Phone is ringing. And that is an unimportant phone call. So, let's move on. We got three more of these. She said $5 a piece, but we kind of just, you know, bulk it up at the end. So, Lost Ball by this Bob Commander. Again, I have no idea what they're worth in reality. I know what I'm going to try and sell them for, that's all. Um, then we have Beach. He's on the beach. That's a sand trap, just in case you didn't know. So that's a good one. They are. They do have a signature. That might be Commander, right? I don't know. I don't know. I have not done any research. This is a gut feel buy on these. And last but not least, we have... Oof, don't knock shit over. Oh, that ball got wet. That one got wet. So we're in the pond, or the stream, or the lake, or the ocean it could be too. Who knows? All right, so that's that. Last but not least, the first time ever on my videos, I bought a video game system from Martha, my estate sale person. That's right, estate sale on Monday. That's right, we call it a private pick. So we got the red Wii. Okay, it comes with the charging station, the docking station for the controllers, which are both Motion Plus controllers. So that's good. Okay, one's red, one is white. So that's good. That works out well. Um, we got to test it, but I'm assuming it's clean, so it should work. And it's so clean, and I have all the booklets. It's going on Walmart for $229, or maybe more, depending on how many games I bundle with it. Games we got today... And I say today because I'm about to show you more that I got the other day. Um, Just Dance 3. Which, I'm very bad at looking at these while I'm there, but um, Just Dance is not of any consequence to me. Super Mario Bros. Wii. And I do have the booklet right there. Um, so we got Super Mario Bros. Wii. Okay. Sports resorts, see, I have a bad habit of not looking, right? Empty, so I just have a case for that. We sports, bad habit, not looking, empty case. We sports again, good habit. We sports is in here and is, so is we resorts. So they were in there. I haven't loaded this and pushed the button to see if any games spit out of there because they do have two Wii Sports covers and the booklets for them so maybe I'll get lucky and get another Wii Sports out of this um, now let me just take this out before I ruin it so we got that Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resorts Wheel of Fortune, No Consequence, Grand Slam Tennis and Tiger Woods Tour oh DVD, well I said the DVD so, so $200 spent $200 returned out of one golf club and everything else will be profit. So, as they sell, um, figuring if I sell this on Walmart, easy two hundred dollars. Um, if I bundle these games and make it even bigger bundle, maybe two fifty. Books auction nine ninety nine. Figure nine dollars each on the DVDs. Um, the pictures to wait to be seen on that. Um, and the other golf clubs figure another 150 something like that um, So that's that so that's the estate sale for today uh, The ball like I said if it's legit, which I don't I don't know like I said I gotta look this one up 
Um, worst case scenario, I'll put up for auction $9.99. Start the auction at and let it run for a week and see if anybody wants it. If they do, great. If not, oh well. Um, you never know. Diehard fan might want that. So we'll look that up later. Now, it will give me a chance today, since i got to test the Wii. I picked up all these Wii games a couple weeks ago. And uh, that filthy mess I told you about. Um, so there's a lot of good games that I need to test. And I'll put cleaner uh, boxes together. Cleaner disc, and hopefully... I think most of these were complete. Not the first one I look at is not, but... Um, I thought a lot of these had the booklets, but it's been a couple weeks since I looked at them. Yeah, so this one does, but nasty. God. Mm -mm -mm. I hate when that happens. Uh, Paper Mario with the booklet. So, I, 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 you know, I didn't even look at these discs. That's got it. Is that a scratch? No. That might be okay, just clean it up a little bit. That one might clean up. Yeah, I think that would clean up. So that one there. And I have like, I don't know, 25 more, 20 more, something like that to test. And get up there. And that's going to be a wrap for today's estate sale. Um, so keep an eye out. Because honestly, I did not know this was a $200 putter. Edel, look for those. Um, if you can pick them up cheap grab them and cheap on a club like this once you know the comps on it 25 bucks cheap 30 bucks would even be cheap maybe even 40 we'll see how fast it sells and we'll go from there um i don't like to pay too much for them realistically when i grabbed the clubs from her, i told month i give you 100 for all the clubs um and i knew i was overpaying but i didn't want to embarrass her in front of the person that she was selling them for um and the person that sh I, she was selling them for knew and told me that this was an expensive putter i just didn't believe it because i never heard of the name before so sometimes that's a difficult position to be in and i don't want to put martha in a bad spot and say you know i'll give you well i just tell i'll give you 20 bucks for all this stuff you can't do that um you can you'll never be invited back to an estate sale though so you gotta be careful of that all right we'll see you next time hopefully everybody has a great day